Susie, baby. Chief, chief. Susie, baby. Chief, chief. <laughs> chief. You have to go, eh? I don't know if my husband is around. Please, you have to go. Okay, but don't forget, let's meet the usual place all the time. Chief, <laughs> chief. <laughs> Susie, I love your wonderful ship. Oh, well, I love it, I love it. I love it. <laughs> hey, Zadi. Hey, Zadi, what are you doing with my wife? What are you doing with my wife, hey, Zadi? That woman is my wife. She is married to me according to the custom of our people. Hey, Zadi, you are playing with fire. You are playing with fire. You are playing with fire, hey, Zadi. That fire will surely consume you. Amos, don't ever touch your filthy hand on this car. Do you know how much it cost me to buy this car? Anyway, whatever Ezadi wants, he takes. If I want your wife, I take her. And there is nothing you can do about it. Nothing whatsoever. If I hear you make even fame, I bury you in bundles of Naranut. That I can assure you. <laughs> mm. <Not Sad>. and patrons of the great Okara Shrine, my hands are clean. I had insisted that death must take me the day I go contrary to our customs and tradition. I come from the stock that is commonly referred to as the strong breed. I cannot trade in my pride and my dignity on the altar of, of materialism and fallible. I uphold Well, after all this, I will leave you to your own judgment and interpretation. How can, even in the face of the blind gods, as you may wish to call them, people whose hands are bloodless, whose voice ring of deceit, whose actions fall nothing short but satanism, whose hearts are filled with cunning and evil machinations to exact the justice of truth from the others. I knew from the beginning that the end of the shrine of the oracle has come. But how and when, I cannot claim knowledge. Welcome to the land we are men make rights wrong, and wrongs right. I was here in the era of truth, but when that truth went on a recess, I am still here. What color? What color? What is this rumor? Making the rounds in the villages that you have something to do with Emerson's wife. Ah, uh, okay. Papa, is that why you came all the way? Eh? What is the big deal in seeing the woman alike and going for her? You are talking like something that came out of the buttocks of a beast. Susanna is not just any woman. She is somebody's wife. <laughs> Papa, the world has changed from that decade thinking. If I can see a woman, I can go for her. 
Besides, I can send back Susanna's uh, bride price back to him or some marry her off. Yes, I did. You return the bride price to a woman whose husband is still alive and who has not divorced his wife. Yes, sir, this is an abomination and I will not allow you to do it. Uh, uh, enjoy this cola. Let me give you a uh, and there's a bring snap for my Don't even get anything for me. <laughs> See, to what I'm telling you, you will not go in for any woman if she is another person's wife. decided to get a permanent site. Elder Thomas here informed us that your plot of land along Mars Road is for sale. That is why we have come. <laughs> hey, Pastor, there is only one thing that will determine whether or not I will sell the land to you, and that is how much money you have on you. <laughs> um, Mr. Demba, um, by the grace of God, money will not be a problem. When God sends you, he also funds you. Mm -hmm. That's right. 
Tell us how much it will cost us. Let's look for how to raise the money for you, yes. if we don't have it. My dear brothers, you know land is very costly now. And of course, you know that if I sell this land to you, I will never come back to buy it from you again. It becomes your property. Um, well, I don't want to make money, much money from the church. So I will ask you to go and bring me 500,000 Naira only. Five? 500,000 Naira only. Why are, you, why are you talking like this? Don't think because the pastor said money will not be a problem. Then you now expect the church to count 500,000 Naira and give to you for a piece of land in the village. Uh -uh. It doesn't matter where you buy the land. The most important thing there is that you want the land. This land is at a strategic position, in the center of our town. People have been coming for it. Pastor. Yes, please. Come, come, come. Let us give him 200,000 and see if he will accept it. Ide Jimba. Mokoma. Atakata Abo. Brother. You have spoken well, my brother. Uh, um, but, you uh, don't try to speak well. <laughs> <laughs> Let us give you 200,000 Naira. For what? Are you buying a good or something else? Mm. It is from there I feed and pay school fees for my children. But that is not why the church will give you a whole year's collection. For a piece of land. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, it's okay. It's okay. Um, gentlemen, it's okay. Um, Mr. Demba, let's do it this way. Let's give you 300,000 naira because of the location of this land now. <laughs> and leave it there. Yeah. But if you're not still willing to sell the land, then we have to look for somewhere else. <laughs> hmm? My young pastor. Mm -hmm. Um, well, it's okay. When are you bringing the money? Mr. <laughs> Demba! <laughs> um, we would rather you come to the missions on Monday so that we'll conclude some things with the church council. Yes. Then you get your money. Yes. Well, if you say so, <laughs> it's okay. That's why I like doing business with the church. <laughs> There's no much drama. Mr. Demba. No more drama. Mr. Demba. God bless you. And you too, Pastor. So, uh, we expect to see you in church on Monday. It's all right, mm? Pastor. God bless you. Yeah. Um, let's pray for him. Huh? Mr. Yeah, Demba. I'll be grateful. Let's pray. Um, Father, we thank you. We thank you. We arrangements to pay back Susan's bride price. What? Impossible. 
It's better you go and tell her that. If she wants to mess up her life, not to that extent, how can somebody stay awake and put death on her head? My sister, what I am telling you now is nothing but the truth. Because the person that saw Amos on his way to the Oracle told me everything. Eh? <laughs> you see, very soon, people in this our community will start dropping dead. But let me tell you one thing. If Ezra did it, he will be the first to drop dead. Well, I thank God that we are alive in this town. We will soon witness what will happen. My dear, I, I wonder how a man could go and start paying the price price of another man's wife. Yeah. On a couronne à What you've told the oracle was made up to set the wrath of great Okara against Chief Ezadi. Then let Okara hunt you until he destroys you. But if it be the truth, let these waters wash you free from all guilt and blame. And let Okara seek Chief Ezadi and he's found in his grave. Okukogum! Okukogum! Okara! Okara! Odum na gyeku! Odum na gyeku! Uliye gabak! Ekwadro! Ekwadro! Okara! 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 Eze binaku! Eze binaku! Eze binaku! Eze binaku! Eze binaku! Okara! Okara! Secret or crash right? Give me up! 
Come on, David. Come on, call David, the driver. No. Call David. Yes. Come back. Yes, sir. Go to the store. Yes. I rent for 12 to bus of yam. Yes, sir. Hey. Come, 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 come. Go to the dentist, eh? Yes, I rent for three bottles of gin. You put the bag. David, there. Hey. Hey, David. Bring out the car. Bring out the car. Bring out the car. That's the agreement. That's the money we agreed on. Thank you very much. Officially, the land now belongs to the church. What is it I do? It can be sold. And for good money, too. And for good land. <laughs> I <laughs> tell you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Bless you. Thank you very much, Pastor. God bless you too. tubas and bottles of hot drink. Even if they do, they do not accept unwholesome sacrifice. Oh, he who comes like the wind, I did not bring this as sacrifice. But how can one go to inquire of the gods empty-handed? Eh? If my offering is unwholesome, I should be told why. A poor man who has no one to speak and fight for him came and told the oracle how you have with your money taken his wife. He said he confronted you on this and he told him he could go and burn for all you cared. You also threatened to squash him like a fly with your wealth. <laughs> the gods do not take delight in such things. They fight for the poor. He came and asked the oracle to take vengeance on his behalf. And the oracle will. I of the storm. I have done wrong. I, and I, I now realize my foolishness. What must I do to stay in the hands of the boss? Ah! Don't force the oracle to strike you where you are. The hand of Okara cannot be stayed because he takes vengeance when he's provoked. The only way the hand can be stayed. It's when the man who has complained comes back to inform the oracle that he has forgiven the man he has complained about. Until that is done, the oracle will take his full vengeance. And you have two days. Uh, uh, two days? Two days. Uh, how do I achieve that? Uh, uh, no matter what I, I beg your most, you will not forgive me. Uh, I have to stop. Please. I have to stop. Please, no. Please, no. The gods have spoken. It's time to go. And as you leave, don't look back. Else the oracle. Strike you dead.
Ghana sent me packing. He won't even listen to any of my pleas. There will be trouble if he sees you and I. Please just go. There is trouble already. He has reported both of us to the great Okara Oracle. If we don't do anything, there will be trouble for both of us. In fact, both of us are dead. Hi! Hey, God of our fathers. How? Is that it? Ah. Is that it? You have finally come to take your wife, Suzanne. No, eh? no, no. Is no. that it? Huh? Take her. Your wife. No, no. Take her. No. Suzanne, your wife. No, no, please, 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 brother. Take brother, her. what have I done to you that you want me to face a death of regret? Huh? Let your heart be reached. Hmm? I swear by anything I hold secret that if I come anywhere near your wife again, eh? In fact, any trouble in fact, if she passes the other way, I'll just take the opposite direction. But please go back to the oracle and tell her that you have withdrawn the case. Please. Hey, Zadi, eh? I have no problem with you. Eh? You want your wife? No. Susan. No, no, no. Take her. No, 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 no. Take her. No, I must. Take her. I must. I must. I must. Hey, Zadi, take her. I must. to eat by the time the sun gets halfway across the sky tomorrow. If you refuse, the oracle will seek her cause of justice on her own. <laughs> oracle indeed. Does it look to you like Benson is afraid of some piece of wood, some jobless recalcitrant carbon placed in the bush? I will not answer to any summon from whatever you call his name. If I burn a piece of grief that I am content with a piece of land that I know that belongs to my father, let him go to Lokota and contest it. Benson is not the man who scares his Now get out. I've been so silly. The oracle is not to be trifled with. This warning is the last one you will get. Get out. Get out of my house. Let us see you tomorrow. I said get out. I will not be treated by an evil smelly picket like nonsense. Let him go to lock out and contest it. If he hires all lawyers, I'll hire 20. Nonsense.
Shut up your mouth. What do you know about oracles? Somebody that went to sleep last night, hell, I heard him, only to see him dead the next morning, holding his throat. Didn't you see the mark on him? Yeah. And you hear crying. to you is for you to live your life and do your business. That's all. Yes. But you mean everything. everything. Yes. Everything. Nothing will be left. Everything. Everything. insistent on punishing me because I took his wife that I even considered killing him. Let me tell you, before you consider that, the second time, the oracle would have visited you. The oracle protects those who supplicate to it. Uh, then what, what do I do? That's why I come here. What do I do? Nothing! Nothing. Just go home. Go home and put your house in order and prepare join your ancestors in the land of darkness. No, 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 no. Go! No, no, please, no, no, no. just wait, wait, wait. See, look, look, look at this place. Eh? Look at the, the type of life you people are living. Eh? People who possess the kind of power you possess will be enjoying a better life. Eh? There are things that I can do if they are sacrificed. Just tell me. There are things you and your father know that can be done to steal the hand of the oracle away from me. Go and persuade your father. Once he does that, once all of you do that, I can give you three million. You, ah! you do not speak such sacrilege within the confines of the oracle. Okay, please. Do you want her to strike us dead? No. Huh? No. No. I'm sorry.
is there for you to think about. The life you described is not for people like us. We are born to serve the oracle. Mm, no now, Uzo, no. We are born like every other man was born. We only chose to serve the oracle because Father is the chief priest. We would have decided not to and still made a living. But are we now making a living? All we do is feed out of the sacrificial animal people bring here. That is all we do. Now let me ask you. If both of us are called upon now to do things men of our age do with money, we would be able to do it. We do not need money. We are going to live here all our lives. What we eat and drink shall be provided by those who come here to seek for justice. We are blessed. Mm -hmm. No, we are not. We are not. We have been blinded. Blinded. And I refuse to be blind anymore. I think you are right, but we must not risk our lives because we want to make money. So there is no risk in profit. The oracle cannot kill our own. Besides, there are a lot of deities in the land. We can consult another deity in the land for protection against the wrath of the oracle. Then, think about what I am saying. What do you think? We should do. do. <laughs> this is a question I expect you to be asking me. Now listen. That man offered three million. Okay? So that we can pull the wool over the eyes of the oracle. Hmm? That money is too much for a man to turn his back on. I think we should collect that. Money. Ah! Offer! Then what happens to Father and the Oracle? <laughs> Father is old and will soon join his ancestors. Listen. You know what I think we should do? We are going to depose him, send him to early retirement and take over the running of the shrine. You see, I know one woman in uh, was in that village Amobo. This woman's power can match that of the oracle. And if the oracle decides not to deal with us anymore, do you know what we'll do? We'll go to her for protection. Alright? And then we'll begin to serve our own God. Alright? And people will not know. They will think it's the same shrine. Think about it. words, ancient one. The birds of the air know before the wind blows. The arms of the field know before the storm strikes. All those who serve me will know before shame is robbed on our Stranger words, still, patient one. Tell me in the language that I can understand. <laughs> Understanding. Understanding is denied those who seek the secret things from the darknesses. Prepare yourself for peace has fled the strife. Far be it that such should happen in my time. You left my house unguarded. 
Your children, they've been to Greek and rub shame on my face. Now my face is on fire! What ablution should be made, ancient one? Hmm? Prepare yourself for your many living the world times! <laughs> Get out of here right now. The termite does not carry its fat into the hole of the ant without the ant attacking. What have the acolytes of Okara come to do in the abode of Anigala? What the 
ant knows. The termites knows too. What the eagle can see, the hawk can see as well. What the wind hears, the water feels. We will not leave until you've attended to us. What has Okara sent you to find out? What kind of trouble is she looking for? She is not looking for any trouble. Neither is she the one that sent us here. We have come on our own. What do you want? Protection. From who? From the great Okara Oracle herself. The gods forbid. Then I should double into such matters. Who Okara wants? Okara takes. Anigala shall not interfere in such matters. I'm afraid, Anigala. You must interfere because the children of the great Okara Oracle are here themselves to see you. Even when the hawk attacks the baby chick, the mother hen rises to battle. Yes. Money. There is more where that came from. If you offer us the protection we ask, we will not only fill your bands with more of that, we will also expose the power of Okara for you to possess. This is definitely not the talk of jokers. No men filled with drink. We mean every word we have said to you. And we can do every bit of thing we have said we will do. Because we, the children of Okara, are here already. And if you take our offer, Yours will be the greatest deity in this part. Think of Time you retired and allow Ofa and I take over the running of the shrine. Oh, I would that my ancestors had taken my life in the prime of my youth than for me to live to see the day that my own children, initiates of great Okara shrine, turn their back on Okara and make her power. None effect. As a matter of fact, Father, Ozo and I are here for you to officially ordain us custodians of the shrine. No! Ozo! Yes, Father. Ozo! That is why we are here, Father. No! 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 I would never would tell this abomination. Uh, no!
then, then it's okay. Be easier for us. Let us pray that he's dead. I know you must be wondering if these things did actually happen. But I can tell you on my honor that worse things did happen. I know because I've been around long enough to know. At first I thought I should just keep quiet and watch this madness and this falsehood emanating from sundry quarters to go on. But on a second note, I felt I owe you and generations unborn the responsibility to present and to present the truth about this Okara Oracle. Well, as it is with things from the past, the origin of the Okara Oracle is shrouded in mystery. But my father told me as a little boy, that in the time, in the distant past, the Okara land was steeped in evil. Brothers were taking their sisters for wives. The strong were dispossessing the weak of land and property. But however it came to a head, when the people of Okara land, led by their Igwe, decided that it was time to clean up the house. They decided that Okara land needed an oracle that will adjudicate between contending parties and settle disputes and uphold justice for the just and punish the unjust. You mean the chief priest has gone to join our ancestors? Yes. Hey. Hey. Okara has called him home. Hey. Hey. And as is traditional, before he left to join our ancestors, he ordained Ozo and I, chief priest, to take care of the oracle. But that is very, very unusual. Very, very unusual. No, no, no. Normally, when the oracle priest goes home, the elders see the face of the gods. Yes. And a successor is ordained publicly. Publicly. That is true, Your Highness. That is true. Uh, but in this case, the gods specifically requested for a joint uh, successor. Joint. And that he should personally ordain us chief priests before passing out. You mean he ordained you? Yes, he did. And he was barely able to conclude the process before he passed on. And now, we have to accept two of you as the new chief priests of the Oracle. Eh? Oh. Uh, uh, Your Highness, uh, I hope we are not questioning the decisions of the gods. No! no. We know what the consequences might be. If what you say now is what the Oracle wants, so be it. I am but a mere mother. Shrine 
has been desecrated. Hey, Okara, Okara, hey, Okara, hey, 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 Okara, Okara, hey, Okara, hey, Okara, hey, Okara, hey, 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 h
now and tomorrow morning to bring that money. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and let me warn you. As you leave the shrine, the great Okara Oreko is following you. Hey! Go! Sometimes the oracle has made clients of the high and mighty, businessmen, politicians from far and wide, men, men, all manner of men. I cannot come out to say that I want to run for the chairmanship position of this local government without informing you. You are the heavyweights in the party. <laughs> And without your approval, any move I make will be a useless one. Very well spoken. You see, you ask for the impossible. The caucus have already chosen Adam to be its chairmanship candidate. Yes, that is the truth. We believe that he is the man that will deliver the local government into our hands. That may be so, sir. But he can as well make the party to lose the election. How do you mean? Remember, he had a, a record as a 419 baron. And of all the people that have shown interest in this goal, I think I am the only one who has nothing against his name. Yeah, but that also may, might be your undoing. Yes. Because amongst all the other aspirants, you are the most unpopular. Yes. <laughs> Out of choice, sir. I knew that a time like this will come. When the party will need a fresh face, a fresh image. I mean, someone that can, both the older generation and the younger ones can identify with. I am that man. And the party needs me to repaint his image. <laughs> Love this bitch. <laughs> Love this bitch. Yes. Love this bitch. But uh, let me remind you or rather inform you that the party does not need anybody to repaint its image. Yes. That goes to show how little he knows about the game of politics and how it is being played in this country. Yes, especially in this local government. Yes. I, I, I don't understand you. You won't understand. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> my friend, the money that comes from people like us oils the will of the party. Yes. <laughs> We are the ones that determine what goes to who and how it goes. We are the ones that determine what size of cake gets to anyone when it is shared. Yes. Now, for anyone in the party to aspire to any position, he or she must assure us that when he goes into that place that we are sending him, he will make sure that he does not only feather his own nests, but also that our own mess are also fed that. Do you understand what we are saying? <laughs> um, gentlemen, I trusted that you men are men of vision. I mean, I have lived all these years and have made all the money I made without a scandal to my name. And that was only possible because I am the kind of man that covers my tracks. <laughs> <laughs> where I walk is where I eat. <laughs> That's and nice. if I eat, I don't see any reason why I should eat alone. And there's no problem. Don't ask all the people that have worked with me before. Ungariga. Who Ungariga is. Ungariga. Mm -hmm. There's no problem. There's no problem. We will get back to you in a fortnight. Yes. The Kakos will meet. With the chieftains. With the chieftains. And um, I'm sure we'll get to a final decision on this matter. Ungariga. God bless you. I will not disappoint you. Don't worry. I will not. That's I promise. Thank you very much. Don't <laughs> 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 uh, you my know, tips. If you remember, we promised you that all the powers that Okara Oracle possessed 
shall be yours. True. And we fulfilled our promise. But eh, you see, but the problem now is that that very power we removed from the great, the then great Okara Oracle should be seen working in you. Else we and the Oracle we serve might be seen as an object of ridicule in our land. The Oracle you serve. Or the oracle that serves you. <laughs> <laughs> you can look at it from whatever angle you wish. But we have a case in hand. Yes, very important. Okara can no longer answer us. And we have the life of someone who we has been reported to the oracle to take. And we must do it so that people will believe that Okara is still at work. Ani Galado! <laughs> Taking life is not a problem. The problem is that I, Ani Gala, I get to do all the work. And Okara takes credit for everything. Ani Gala, you're getting it all wrong. Is it what the material and financial benefits are oh, yours? <laughs> You're very correct. Eh? What is this? <laughs> it is what Okara the should give to you. <laughs> For you. Eh? For you, Anika. It's a guinea. <laughs> so the daughter of Anigala will ride in a cheek. Anigala do! Anigala do! Anegala. Anegala. Hey! Let me open it. Is this how they put it? Hold on. Hold on. Damn it. Damn it. That boy. Eh? By the time I finish with him in this town, he will know who I am. The boy who came with his family begging for him to marry my daughter, stepping on my toes. Don't mind him, don't mind him. <laughs> don't worry. Go, 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 go. Okay, eh? no Just problem. be careful. I'll deal with that boy. I'll finish him. Beg, I've left him for good. So, where are you? My father's house now. Where else? And your father accepted you back. You're talking of my father accepting me. My father even threatened to deal with him. By the time we finish dealing with him, eh? mm. by the time he hears, don't. Not to talk of Riz. Oh, Riz. He will run. <laughs> she is talking. You, you are married and you're complaining. What about me? You, you're what talking about me. Marriage, my dear sister, marriage is pure slavery. That is enslavement now. I cannot do anything. I cannot go to party. I cannot visit my friends. Is it going to rain? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your transport. 
and uh, make sure you book two rooms. We are visiting. It's okay. This is nice. Yes. Like you've said, we'll spread our tentacles and work more as a team. Uh -huh. Go. Make sure you get results. Okay. Take care of yourselves. This is the money you asked me to bring for the record. It wasn't easy. I have to go and go. I really want justice because I suffered in the hand of that woman and her family. Hey! Hey, shut up! Is the money complete? Yes, sir. Now drop it. Hey, Jack! I hope she will be dealt with. Okara Oracle has already fought your battle. Your wife is dead. Hey! Okara, thank you. Oh, thank you, sir. As for the properties, they are yours. When you come with one, you can do everything you want to do with them. Thank you, sir. It's not a good one. <laughs> Business is getting better and better every day. Most women believe you're from this community. Why? You hardly visit. Okay, you're right. But I'm not to blame. Okay, now that I've come to establish a factory in this community, I can't even get a piece of land that I need for the factory. Why? It's really not difficult getting the land from this community. My dear, for a factory, I don't just need any land. I need a land that is strategically located. The one I got at Damuzu Road, they said it had been sold to a church, and uh, I'm considering moving the factory to a neighboring community. That is because you don't want it. Madam, I'm telling you, the land I got had been sold to a church. And I'm saying it doesn't matter. If you really need the land, I could help you get the land. How? With the right amount, the Okara Oracle, to help you get the land from the church. <laughs> But it's like you've been taking so much drink that you can control. How can the dreaded Okara Oracle that is known for truth and justice be oh, engaged? Story. These days, the Oracle can do anything as long as the price is good. Mm. Yeah. Ah. Your daughter was unfaithful to her husband. Even when he warned her against it, she remained in her unfaithfulness. Not only did she take his children away from him, she fought him for his property. Now her remains and all the property must be submitted to the shrine. Hey! Even this house, where she lived before her death, and all that are therein, belongs to the oracle. No, no, sir, no, please, please. My brother here has no hand at all with the quarrel between the late daughter and the husband. Please, <laughs> he has no hand in it. Please, how can the oracle take my only house? 
She brought her abomination into this house, and this house will not be allowed to exist. But if you choose to disobey the oracle, then we will lead you to fight with her. You saw what happened to your daughter. Worse things will happen to you if you decide to disobey the oracle. Please don't go. Please don't go. What do I do? How do I remove this disgrace? On the alternative, the oracle says that you must bring the sum of three million naira to the Shimai tomorrow. Three million naira. She might change her mind. What the oracle will do, we cannot tell. She does it. How will I get some money one day? How will I? My only has gone. Drive around in big cars. What are you talking about? Don't pastors drive around with in big cars? Yeah. After all, they are doing the same spiritual business. <laughs> My friend, stop speaking sacrilege with your thong. How can you compare the work of a pastor and the work of an oracle priest? What is the difference? Eh? The oracle priest is doing spiritual job, and the pastors are doing spiritual job. What are you talking about? See, the oracle priest, they have decided that they can no longer be satisfied with uh, the leftover by supplicants. So now they must eat from the fat of the land. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Man must walk where, 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 where you walk. Okara, okara. okara. I do not know whether you come in peace or whether I have done anything wrong that Okara has visited me. You have not done anything wrong. 
Rather, we have come to ask of something from you. We hear you own and want to sell a piece of land along Amazu Road. That's why we're here. Oh. You come too late. It has already been sold. Sold? To who? To the church. They came to me some few weeks back and told me they want a piece of land. We talked about it and they paid for it. How much did they pay for it? 300,000 Naira only. Like the oracle revealed. Either is a sum of 600,000 Naira, twice the amount of money the church paid to you for the land. Return the church's money back to them and keep the rest. It is much more than enough money for you, old man. You see, on that piece of land, lies the great Okara Oracle herself. She wants her resting place back. Back in the hands of those who keep and protect her shrine. If she doesn't get back her land, she might be forced to come after you. And you know what that means. She could have gotten her land if she wanted, anyhow. And nothing would have happened. But she chose to offer you money. If you ask me, the wise thing for you to do is to take the money and return the land back to her. Church. What will I tell the church that uh, the church that Tell them that the land belongs to Okara Oracle and she has collected what rightfully belongs to her. The eyes of the gods. I am an old man. I have collected money from the church. I'll be rubbishing my reputation. Reputation? What reputation? Think of what you could do with 300,000 Naira. Besides, you could be risking the wrath of the Oracle upon you and your family if you refuse. I'm sure you are as shocked as I am. Your guess is as good as mine. The Oracle has become a big, great commercial venture. It was now being used for all kinds of atrocities. Anybody who had money could just walk in and demand any kind of justice that he wanted. What people did not know was that the ancient powers of the Oracle which broke up peace between warring parties and gave justice to the oppressed had long departed the oracle. Justice. Justice. Just all my
manner of justice. But somehow, I was not deceived. I knew our tribulations had just begun. So I was not surprised when political office seekers with their godfathers and godmothers began to throng the, the oracle for oath taking. <sighs> I told Senator, it's a matter of phone call. Yeah. And yet we rule. <laughs> so you may really stop it. Of course. <laughs> That's the <wrong. laughs> Congratulations, congratulations. congratulations. The caucus met this morning has agreed to pack it up as its uh, local government chairmanship candidate. Congratulations. I am loyal. I am loyal, chief. I am loyal in the morning, I am loyal in the afternoon, loyal at night. I am loyal all the time. Yeah, uh, but um, as regard protecting our interest, yes. the caucus would want assurances. Yes. What kind of assurance do you need? <laughs> what kind of assurance do you need? I was coming to that. You will take an oath that whatever happens, you will take our suggestion. Especially when it comes to appointment into offices, and that 50% of the local government allocations from the federal government will um, come to us. Hey, chief, is he not asking for too much? If elected, I will not even have the right to give out the local government subvention to individuals. It is not to be used to develop the council. Nganika, let me remind you. The local government is made up of people and by that, I mean people who have money to decide the destiny of such local government. Yes. And in this case, we are those people. Exactly. Nganiga, we are the local government. I, I Each time you talk about the local government, you are talking about us. I understand, yeah. Chief. I understand. But, but I was thinking that uh, uh, asking for 50% of the monthly allocation is... Uh... Let me remind you, Chief Nganiga, that our bank is willing to do our bidding. He's even prepared to give us what we are asking for, my friend. So if you are headstrong about it, we will simply call him in and he will come around for us. Immediately. Yes. But you. OK, Chief. But, but Chief, what were you talking about, uh, good thinking and all that? Uh, is it necessary? Very necessary. We will take you to the Okara Oracle. There, you will take an oath and you will swear that you will stand by everything we said in this house the risk of losing your life. But I am a Christian chief. My Bible forbids me from taking a note before a shrine or a deity. If that is, we are all Christians. Yes! We are all Christians. And we know that our God is kind yeah, and merciful. He will not administer judgment immediately. We will go to the deity. Yes. The deity is the only God that will administer judgment without mercy. Finally, assuming you go against our agreement, mm -hmm. so we we'll have to go to the sacred Okara shrine. Mm -hmm. The oracle says that the land belongs to her. Therefore, I come to return the money which you earlier gave me for the land, because I don't want to fall into trouble with the oracle. It is as if I have made a mistake by selling the land to you. The land belongs to the oracle. So please, take your money. Now listen, Mr. Demi. God will not relinquish his property to some agents of darkness in the name of any shrine. The church paid for the land, and you signed the documents. We have already told our headquarters church in Lagos that we bought the land. So how can we now go back to them and tell them we didn't buy the land? Or tell the geo that one oracle made us not to buy the land? Listen. Go back to the oracle and tell them you sold the land and you didn't do it under duress. You don't understand, Pastor. Mm. The oracle is not something you trifle with. If you do it, you and your church will perish. Let that word run back into your mouth. How dare you say a thing like that in my office? Now listen, you are not a Christian, so you don't understand. 
Bible said God will build the church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. Listen, we are not giving back any land to you. As a matter of fact, we are commencing building on that land this week. Thomas, I am pleading with you. This pastor is a stranger. He doesn't know the tradition of our people. Tell him to take his hands off that land or else he will die a miserable death. And I, Idemba, will not be blamed for it. Um, Mr. Idemba, go home. Don't be afraid. Take your money and go home. I mean, the oracle you are afraid of is nothing but mere pieces of wood. Pieces Gajan. of what? Mm -hmm. You won't understand. Pieces of what? Take your money home. Like the pastor said, the church is commencing construction work on that piece of land this week. And no man can stop us. If anybody, whether from the oracle or from wherever, tries to disrupt our work, we shall treat him like a trespasser. As a matter of fact, the church will ensure that he is locked up until he realizes the law. Because the Bible says, suffer not a witch to live. Exodus 22, 18. Thomas, you brought them to me. You have them. Do you hear what they are saying? Pastor, you will hear from the other court. Mr. Demba, come and take your money. The other court will come. Come and take this money. Come Mr. Demba, let your money. Mr. Demba, can you imagine this nonsense? Pastor, leave him. I mean, please sit. I thank God. At least we are together now. Let us tell ourselves the whole truth. There's nobody who does not know that the oracle is a vicious killer. She does not spare those who wrong her. Elder Thomas, I don't understand. Ah, you don't know. Elder Thomas, who do you serve? God or Mammon? Tell me! Is it God or the devil that you serve? Pastor, whatever you say, tradition is tradition. And the Bible said that we should give Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Elder Thomas. There's no way you can compare African tradition to that of the Israelites, as documented in the Bible. Holy Ghost fire. Lord of Jesus. Elder Thomas. Uh, Pastor. You call the word of God a mere historical document. This meeting is over, if you don't mind. Pastor, Pastor, you don't understand. Uh -uh. Elder Thomas. Elder Matthew, talk to, talk to, talk to the pastor now, please. Eh? Hey. The oath you were taken before the great Okara Oracle today is binding on you. Should you renege on the terms of this agreement, Did I hear you say shameful? <laughs> but such has become the character makeup of our today's leaders. But as events later revealed, Nganiga had his game plan. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Praise Jesus! Hallelujah! The gates of hell shall not prevail. The church is Yes. 
and your car shall and say the land belongs to her. No way. But listen to me, Bible says God will build a church yes. and the gates of hell shall not prevail over it. Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said the gates of hell shall not prevail in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen to me, Bible also says that wherever the souls of your feet tread on the pole, He has given you. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Joshua chapter 1 verse 3, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Who will build on this land in the name of Jesus? Amen. I said, who will build on this land in the name of Jesus? Amen. I said, the gate of hell shall not prevail in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said, but because our feet cut off on this land, amen. it is us in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is us in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Church, begin to possess the land. Amen. I said, begin to possess the land. Amen. Begin to possess the land. Begin to possess the land. Amen. Father, we possess. When do you think he's going to be through with this? Mm, at most three days. Three days? In the next three days, I will start the foundation work. Oh, okay, that's to say in the next three days, we should bring in the sand, the gravel and everything. I don't want a situation where if we start, we will stop. It's okay, it's okay. That's to say we are going to do everything we need to do so that the basic structures will go up as fast as possible. Immediately. Okay. Any problem? Yeah. A little boy who does not heed to the advice of an elder mm. and puts his hands into an ant hill should not ask for help. When the ants, when the ants will have his hands for supper, pastor, or whatever you call yourself. The best for you to do is to take all those miscreants and leave this piece of land now before Okara descends on you. Listen, if you are the oracle priest, it is good we met. Ja! Amigala! And this affords me the opportunity to tell you that this piece of land was duly really paid for by the church from the owner. Mm -hmm. And if you are the one that sent Idemba to come and tell us to take back our money, you're joking. Because the church will not chicken out because of any mammoth god. But will you shut up? You do not talk to the priests of the Okara anymore. And let me tell you, you are summoned to face the Okara Oracle in the next three days. If not, <laughs> Vengeance will be taken against you. And all that belongs to the church will become Okara's property. Anigala has spoken. Anigala has spoken. <laughs> the church of Jesus summoned to your own mammoth God? Nonsense. It is not possible at all. You have been summoned. No fucking Anigala go
Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, show your power and let your enemies be scattered. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Um, I, um, uh, let's take him to the church, okay? We'll take him to the church. Just help him to the, into the Bible. Just help him. Help him, help him, help him. Are you sure he's safe? Don't worry, don't worry.
Adikala. Show them that the things of the spirit are not meant for mere mortals. If something does not happen here now, we will become a thing of ridicule in this community. Bet it. Now you go back to your shrine and wait for me. I will go out there and fortify myself. Then. I will take the battle to their own ground tonight!
shrine has been desecrated by the custodians of Okara because of greed and their love for money. They commit, oh, they commit all kinds of atrocities in Okara's name. What happened? How would I know? How would I know? I mean, where was I? Giving it to him. Giving it to them. And before I knew it, I found myself running like a frightened rat. Listen, wherever it is, their power comes from. Anibala does not understand them. No! Anibala, I have always said it, always said it, that the battle with the church will only lead us to disgrace. The church I have always known is a hard nut to crack. What's up? money to him rather than go into any kind of battle with those people that is what we will do immediately never never anigala does not relent on any cause anigala but the people have just proven that you're nothing but a mere mortal they have not proven anything He that fights and runs leaves to fight another day. When I heard what happened between the church and Anigala, I knew the end of the oracle was very close. Any man on earth should know that you do not challenge the living God to a fight. I may not be a Christian, but I know the only Christian who can be put down is the one who does not know who he is. But for that Pastor John and his people, they know who they are. I once heard him in his uh, crusade saying, Behold, darkness shall fall upon the earth and cross darkness upon the people. And the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. It is that glory that Anigala failed to see on Pastor John. The fight has only just begun. Uh, gentlemen, I think it would be in order if I offer you brandy, coffee, depending on which one you want. My friend, <laughs> we have enough brandy and coffee to drink in our respective homes, yes. if you don't mind. Then I'm sorry. Thank Honorable you. Honorable Chairman, sir, there is one minor detail in our agreement that you seem to be forgetting. Do you remind me, please? When we made you the chairman, we... Duly elected, please. Duly elected. We had an agreement that 50% of the local government's allocation from the federal government comes to us. But we are aware that the federal government has remitted the same amount into our, your account. But up until this moment, nothing has yet reflected in my account. And nothing will reflect in that your account. There is no way I will credit your account with the money meant for the people. Money meant for the people of this local government? Not possible. What is this? Even where there is an agreement and an oath, 
that agreement was not written down anywhere. That oath, well, that agreement was not written down anywhere. And the oath that was taken in front of a pagan god is not binding on me. Now I tell you people something straight. I rather run the risk of losing my life than being imprisoned by government for embezzling money that is meant for the people that I swore to serve. Wait, 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 wait. Are you in any way suggesting that you will not honor the agreement? Why are you finding it difficult to understand, gentlemen? Why are you finding it difficult to understand? There was no agreement in the first place. I just needed a way to come into this office. My goal is to serve the people to the best of my ability. And not to some greedy individuals like you two who are bent on seeing the poor people of this local government to their graves. My friend, do you know what you are playing with? Do you know who you are talking with? God, we put you in this office, my friend. And you are the one who is forgetting one minor detail. If I should use your word. I am the chairman of this local government, duly elected by the people that I am representing. And now, you are in my office, and you are threatening me. With all due respect, sir, I would love you two to get up and leave right away before I call the security guards to throw you out of this office. Is that the way you want it? Is that the way you want it? Let me inform you. You have just beaten the finger that fed you. You have just embarked on a journey and we see you to your end. That's a promise. Yes. The battle between Nganega and his people who put him in office, at the caucus as you may wish to call them, is still, is still heating up. Will he survive the pressure from the party stalwarts? Will he survive the call from the caucus for him to resign his post as the chairman? Will the oracle fold his arms and watch him flout the oath? Well, the events of the forthcoming week will tell. But one thing I tell you, darkness hangs over the oracle. Because the gods have turned their back on us all. Hey, that is not important. What is important is that we have a job for you. Okay? Now, here, this is the sum of 250,000 naira. You complete the job, you get another 250,000 naira. Oh, yeah. And what is this job that you're willing to pay this kind of money for? Yes. The great Okara Oracle once passed to John of the Christian Pentecostal International Assembly dead. He's been standing in the way of the oracle, causing the oracle a lot of pain. And the oracle is not happy about it. <laughs> I did not know that the oracle needed the help of people like me to do away with their enemies. Shh! Kai! Don't blaspheme! The oracle does not need you! Or any other person to fight her enemies. She has a reason why this must be so. No shooting. No match at courts. And there must be no sign of physical attack. All you need to do is snuff out life from him. The Oracle has her reasons why. She wants him dead that way. All right. I am a professional. 
and the money. It's good. Consider your job done. Good, that's better. You are required to answer the summons of your Okara Oracle concerning an oath you took that you have refused to honor. You have approximately three days within which to answer the summons. Otherwise, the Oracle will be forced to take drastic actions against you. And all that you have will be confiscated by the Oracle. Sixteen. Uh, the choir day too. Yes, sir. Okay. Lock up the auditorium, okay? Yes, sir. Then you can go from there. All right, sir. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Makuto presente yeke. Father. Oh, Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost. Come and help your people. We need your help. We cannot do without you, Lord. We just cannot do without you. You are all that we know and all that we have. Let your name be glorified. We cannot do without you. We cannot do without you. We cannot do without you. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Because Amen. it is well. Jesus. Who are you and what are you doing here? An angel. The angel. I bind you in that not jumbo day. Necessary. Keep quiet and don't scream. What have you brought a gun into my office for? What have you brought a gun into my office for? Some people sent me to send you to heaven today. I can as well grant you the grace of concluding your prayer before I dispatch you to the great beyond. Some people paid you to kill me. Eh? Oh, Jesus. Uh, um, who, if I may ask? Who? Well, since you're still going to die, you might as well know. The Oracle priest says you're standing in the way of the Oracle and its work. Therefore, you must die now. Step aside. Come out this way. Now, move aside. Move aside. Come this way. Please. Let it be known that I am not afraid of you. I am only afraid of him that can kill the body and the spirit. And that is God. You have been paid to kill me. Of what good would that do to you? What you're about to do is to, to condemn yourself eternally. I am a man sent by God. If truly those that employed you believe in the God they serve, why don't they allow him to fight his own battles? Father, unto your hands I commit my spirit. <laughs> Listen, 
It was evident by the death of your pastor last night. That is it. Therefore now, the great Okara Oracle has come to take his body and all that belong to him. Yes. Which includes the properties in this church. Yes. Ichi, liar. Have you finished? Step back. Liar, have you finished? You see yourselves? Have you not been exposed now? So this is how you go about all these years. Hiring assassins to kill people. Yeah. Watch what you say. Go about claiming their property, their bodies. Yeah. All in the name that the oracle killed, killed them. My friend. You see yourselves? You see how you have been caught? My friend. If you don't close your mouth, you will die like your pastor. Uh, you be quiet! Uh, you slap! Okay. Sorry to disappoint you. Oh. God decided to keep me alive. Amen. So now I will testify against you. Amen. You have failed in this life. You have also failed in this church. Amen. Because Jesus is Lord. Amen. Officer, arrest him. Hey, 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 hey. Why are we here? 
Our coming here is unnecessary. The Lord has already given us victory. Eh? Look at the police people here. Get the behind me, Satan! Oh, 
with the oracle. Huh? So shut up your mouth! Bastard! That's what you are. Bastard! The oracle! The oracle! We surely defend our own. Alright? I promise you that. The oracle! We surely defend our own! Okay, let Bastards! Look, look, look at, look at them. Deceiving people. It is sad to know that such a place like this exists between our communities, especially at this stage of our national development. But I can assure you, gentlemen, that this government will not tolerate any act of barbarism, cultism, ritual killing, all in the guise of tradition and culture. More than ever, I would like our people to embrace God and recognize that human life is sacrosanct. Just, just look around. Human bodies scattered all over the environment. It is a sad thing. Well, at this point, I want to thank all the members of public that gave us vital information, especially the pastor and his church. Thank you very much, sir. We are taking the men now for interrogations. And after that, we'll continue our search to unravel all the evil shrines in this country. Thank you, and God bless you. Move. Move. Excuse me, sir. For how long have you been involved in this barbarism? Doctor, we will strike you dead. Excuse me, sir. Please, can you tell us exactly who killed all these people here? Please, my dear, how did you get into all this? Were you born into it or were you initiated into it? Please, sir, should you take silence for consent? Come on, Lord, Hans, my be quick. Get him you live here. Oh, oh. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Men, get to me. Stand. Move them. Move them. Get to me to move them now. Stand. Stand, everyone. Stand. Move it. Move. Move. You move up. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. Says her path will be dealt with mm, severely. The great Okara has her rules and guidelines. 